Hey everyone, it's Lainey and how are you guys doing today? I hope you are having a splendid day so far. Really, I do. channel I would like to start by saying welcome if you are returning to my channel thank you so much I truly truly appreciate it you guys I'm wanting to show you a super 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 simple way to get a super 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 dramatic eye I don't know about you but I love the full-on dramatic dark smoky eye it's so intense and it's so sexy and I love it so I want to show you my simple way to get this look accomplished if you want to see that then just keep watching so I'm gonna start with my shadow insurance that my cap has been all chewed up by my pup I'm gonna fully coat my entire lid space up into the eyebrows a little bit and then even underneath of the eye with what's left on my fingers so I am going to start by going into my custom palette, use what you have, set it with a skin tone shade using the Morphe E22, just setting the primer. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm not even going to clean it off. For this part, I'm grabbing a caramely tone eyeshadow right here, any one you have. I'm going to dust it off just a little and we don't have to be super clean about this look. And one thing I like about this look is I feel like it is kind of a messier kind of imperfectly perfect windshield wiper motions circular motions just to really buff that caramely shade all into my transition area and I'm actually going all the way in but I'm always starting on the outer edge because you're gonna lay down the most pigment and you're gonna lose some by the time you get in here a Morphe M441 I'm going to pick up a little of that original setting shade as a touch of the caramel tap it off really well and then I'm just going to make sure it's really buffed out. Now going back in with that Morphe E22, I'm going to pick up this more chocolatey shade here. I'm going to tap off my brush and I'm going to work that into the outer crease and up, but I'm going to stop about three-fourths of the way in. And then just keep doing that until we get our desired pigmentation. I'm going to do the M441 with a little bit of that setting shade, a little caramel, and then I'm going to buff this out because we don't want any harsh lines, edges, anything harsh. No harshness here. Here is my trick that makes this look so easy. Instead of trying to find a really good black, black, black eyeshadow, which can be very hard to do, a lot of them are more of a smoky black, a dark gray, they're chalky. It can be difficult to find a really good black for this look to really give it that punch on the lid. So I'm going to go in with Magnificent. It is a unique splurge cream shadow. It's very, very black. It's a matte shadow. I do recommend using the cream shadow brush by Unique when using their cream shadows. I find it applies them much easier than any of my other brushes. Now we are going to lay it down on the lid. I'm going to bring my lid up a little higher than it really is into the crease because I have a very small lid area. Sometimes I will coat both the front and the back of the brush also. which helps me get a nice defined lid. That was so easy to get a very, 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 very black lid. So right now it look a little cray cray because we need to buff out the very edge of it. Morphe 433 and some more of that chocolate brown shade from my custom palette. So tap it off really well. Then I'm just gonna buff out this area gently and now because I don't want this to get too far away from my crease area I'm going to grab my smudge to brush chocolate brown shade and then I'm going to just kind of tap that onto this portion here because I want this area to be a bit more brown than black so I'm actually just packing that over top here. I'm just going to keep buffing out this outer corner with that chocolatey brown shade. The M433 and I'm just going to tap some of that black back onto the lid here so we don't get any shine from the powder shadows. 
And then, now that we have very little left on this brush, I am going to work it more inward, being careful not to go too extreme, because it can make the eye quite heavy. Then for my look, I definitely want to make my brows seem a little bit higher because I have so much darkness on the lid that I'm going to pick up this really, really natural toned highlighter from Coastal Scents and a little bit of the Sephora under the cover, the Crown Brush 513, and just start working that in right under the brow and then work that into the inner corner to brighten. I am going to go in and put my Moodstruck Precision Eyeliner by Unique and I'm just going to work that into my lower lash line from the outer corner in. So I went ahead and finished up my makeup so that all of that is out of the way so that we could get to the lower lash line. I was trying to go for like an East Coast accent and I don't I don't think I, I don't think I got it right. Um, anywho, so for the lower lash line, I'm thinking bold, smoky, and beautiful, just like the top lash, or the top lid, excuse me. So how I'm going to do that is by going back in with my black matte shadow and that same cream concealer brush, putting just a little on the end of it, and I'm just going to Add that over top of the black liner. Grabbing this chocolatey brown with the Morphe E36. I'm going to tap it off so we don't get fallout because I already finished my face. And I'm just going to buff that out with the brown. Now, am I missing anything? Yes. So you have two options for this look. You could put black in your waterline. Since I don't have very big eyes, I'm going to go ahead and put this Flesh Tone Scandalous Eyes by Rimmel into my waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit because I don't want them to look too small and beady. Although I do feel like when I do these very bold eyes, since they're so blown out around the edges, it does make my eyes look bigger and I love it. I do love this bold eye look. I wish I had somewhere cool to go. I don't, but I wish I did. <laughs> I will leave all the products I use down below for you guys in the description box. I hope you liked this look. I love this bold look. It is one of my favorites. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Really, I would. I'm not just saying that. It would be awesome. We have fun here. And I love getting to know you guys better. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All three places. Please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.